Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com. Another video, I had a chance, I have a chance still. A DLN-9010 ASH, H for heavy. So we have done SS before, standard and now heavy. If you go to our website, um, as of right now, right now, right now, we don't have a separation between SH and SS, but by the time this video is up, you'll see that there is two type categories, meaning you could go in there and choose you want the heavy one or the lighter one. Anyways, anyhow, um, it's a needle feed. Needle feed is that the, it's not a walking foot. You don't have that top and bottom walking foot, but the needle feed the thread, the fabric. Now, it's, this one happened to be very heavy. Um, a, lot, a lot of people are looking for a Juki needle feed machine. This is it and made in Japan. Uh, if you look closely, made in Japan. You see that? Japan. Anyway, uh, table is the same thing. Leg, the same thing. It's fully automated machine with CP-18 right here. Uh, CP-18, you could we have a, um, a drop down on our website that you could change that to CP-180, I believe it is the full function one. Is that 180? Yes, 180. 180. Okay, so foot lift, auto cut, reverse both here and here, stitch length, automatic bobbin winder, control panel here, thread whipping, whoop, done. All right, uh, very, very, very good machine. Uh, look. Okay, let's see how this works with the walking, right? With the needle feeding, right? Um, let me put this down. By the way, everything could be autom uh, automated. You want the, when, when I'm finished, you see the foot standing up. Synchronizer, the needle could stay up. The needle could stay down. Everything is from here. I, Juki is not providing um, anymore all those big, huge, two, 300, 400 page owner's manuals. No, but we have everything digitized on our website. You could go there and download and check. Um, I didn't figure this out, uh, Jasmine did. Um, the bobbin is 270010, the same as the regular 8700, the bobbin case is uh, also 522237 with the NBL. Oh, see, almost out of the thread. Woo. All right, so that's where this comes handy. I'm using a T105 thread today, um, polyester. Obviously this machine could go up to 138, no question. So this is the way the thing works. Um, I don't I usually cover this in case, uh, you see, this is bobbin winder. And whenever you do that, whenever you do that, uh, the thread, this thread comes out right here. That's why I always get a automatic bobbin winder beside this, okay? just to make sure you don't get your machine to work to do this bobbin winder. You don't want this machine to do this stuff. You would want the machine to sew. You could always buy a, this is auto stop, but anyways, you could always uh, cut right here, all right? Oil goes here, the way you do the bobbin, simple, see, they call it, there's a spring in there, so that would be 52237 NBL. Inside, done. You hold this right here, and you just put it inside, and when all in, you let it go and will lock in. Now, you see that the screw right here is a tension, the same way that you have this tension, attention sometimes when your stitching is crazy and whatever you do it's good to play with this one too not to open it up all the way right quarter 
return something. All right? Now, all the threads are really, honestly, uh, all the sewing machine uh, threading the same when it comes to industrial sewing machine. Uh, either walking foot, it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna go over that. I'm not gonna waste your time. Uh, but as you see, this machine is really heavy duty. So, um, Now, why would anybody um, not buy a walking foot and buy a uh, needle feet? It's still everything, if you close up, uh, Jasmine, you see everything is uh, pretty heavy duty. Look at the feet dock on this. Look at the plate. Look at the teeth. You know, the needle, really heavy stuff. But it's still not walking foot. Some sewing is still heavy, really heavy, but that you don't want it to be walking. You don't want it to be um, both top and bottom to pull and go through those heavy walking feet. It's, you know, you could still get away with a very nice um, a stitching from a needle feet. And the way needle feet works, if this thing gets in there, I might even... Uh, All right, here we go. Oy. All right. Um, if, see, the way it works, you see, the needle comes forward, you see, when it's not up and down, like regular sewing machine. It's up, forward, you see that? And walks back, goes back with the feet dog and comes back again. And that, you know what I'm saying? Did you, did you, one more time, in and out. And I took the thread out. Um, one more time, in, you see, goes back, needle, feet. Now, this is the heavy one again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and double one, two, three, four, ten. People want to know how much, obviously, for sure. Look at that. Three quarter for sure. Um, again, this is auto cut, auto thread. We did this. See, you got to correct myself too. All right. I'm just gonna get the slow. See, you could slow down right here, you could slow down the speed. Cut. Now, I'm gonna do double. Make sure you always have two scissors in case you drop one. Um, I just wanna. Some people have problem with letting the thread. Look at that. Oil goes in here, oil gauge here. Uh, this is, they call it semi-dry. The oil does not go in here. And as soon as you take the machine off, it's shut down. The machine comes with everything. When it goes back down like this, you have to turn it off, turn it back on. You got the dryer here, you got some screws. Uh, DVX1 is the needle, six, like 16X257 DVX1. Bobbin is 277010. You get a bunch of screws and screwdrivers. Uh, you cannot use a walking foot on this one. And you could only use certain type of feet from 8700 this one. You cannot find the one, you know, that has only a hole. You gotta be like able to uh, feed it. Anyway, um, what else do you guys want to know? The great machine, I really love it. It's, it's good. Um, the price is good. And the 
Check it out. All the attachments from 8700 will work with this machine. The DDL8700 machine, Yuki machine, new tech machines. Um, all of them. Plate and feed dogs are totally different. This is a dedicated plate and feed dog. You cannot use any other plate and feed dogs for this machine. However, you could use the attachment from Juki 8700, the one that we always use for uh, binding. You could use on this one. Again, um, this is a T105 thread, polyester. Uh, we're gonna have, uh, try this with 138. One more thing, we're adding a new line of bonded thread, B69, B138 and 207 to gold star thread we're gonna have next video probably gonna be about those threads um and let's just give it another try we did 10 we're gonna do another four here let's see what's gonna happen obviously no problem look at that hello the needle broke Pretty much okay. It won't do on that one, but we're gonna replace the needle and we're gonna try to only do with, uh, how many was? We did 14, 14 and we wanted to do 18. It broke the needle on 18. The needle is inside, but it's all good. That's why you have extra needle to put in and uh, get it going. Uh, thank you for watching. By the way, the thread the needle that comes with is 21. I'm gonna go grab a 21 needle. We're gonna put it on and we're good to go. Thank you for watching everyone.